Spy Family is only the greatest anime this season already at number 2 on my anime list. I don't agree with that assessment, but I still think it's pretty good. Either way, that's not what we're talking about here today. Today we're going to compare the sub and dub voices for each of the main characters, and with my absolute objective opinion, I will pick which voice I like better and why. But I'm not picking based on who technically had the better performance as that's kind of boring yada yada yada. Most people will agree Japanese is technically better blah blah blah. Now let's begin. Lloyd Forger is a cool, calm, and collected fellow. Since he's a spy, his voice must be unassuming. He must not draw attention to himself. He must blend in with society, and he must fetch a maiden. So whose voice does this better? Who sounds more like a Bob and less like an Enrique? At this very exact moment I am writing this, I feel that the English dub is only barely, slightly, so close that by the time I finish writing this sentence, I might change my mind. Wait. Alright yeah, I'll stick with the dub. If I'm being honest, there are a few things I don't like about the dub specifically with certain line deliveries and overall emotion, but at the same time I feel like that's kind of the point. In Japanese he literally sounds like a protagonist. I'd rather listen to his Japanese voice than his English voice, but at the same time, it also sounds like it doesn't fit the show. It's really weird, I'm not quite sure how to explain it. His dub voice, whether intentional or not, is so plain that I feel like I'm actually listening to how a spy would actually sound in his head and what he thinks and stuff. But like I said, it's very close for me as of right now, so you can, you know, you can try to convince me in the comments if you want me to think otherwise, but, but as of right now, I'll give it a point to the dub. Your waifu, a quiet, deadly assassin. Like Lloyd, she must be unassuming so that she doesn't get outed as an assassin. The only difference is that she wasn't trained for everything, she was trained for killing, so she isn't as socially adept as Lloyd, so her voice needs to come across as awkward and quiet but also switch at the drop of a hat to a deadly, hot assassin. And as much as it pains me to say, I like the dub better. When I set out to make this video, I thought this was going to be the one where it's not even close. The one where the dub stood zero chance, because in Japanese, yours played by my favorite voice actress. But even our favorites can't always win, can they? As for the reason, it's because in Japanese, I feel like her voice just doesn't really change. Like she's only talking in one tone. Nervous. Granted, I have only watched two episodes with Yor in it at the time of making this video, so maybe by the time the season is done, she'll have mixed up the performance a bit. But right now, I feel like the dub actress has played Yor perfectly. When she's living her normal life, she sounds great in every situation, and then she can change to a more serious tone at the drop of a hat. I feel like this scene perfectly showcases people get killed by jealous wives all the time. Although, I'm positive I'd be able to kill her first. <laughs> It just sounds so much more natural to me, so I must give this one to the dub as well, much to my dismay. But also, congratulations Natalie, you fought against impossible odds and won. Against the GOAT. Well unfortunately now, it is quite impossible for the sub side to win since, you know, the dub's already won for Lloyd and Yor. But let's go Rania anyway because she's a main character. Anya is basically just used as a comedic tool, so as long as she sounds like a kid and her punchlines hit, he should be okay. That being said, Japanese is at a major disadvantage here because I can't speak it. I don't I don't talk Spanish. So once again, I'm going to have to give it to the dub to complete the trifecta of the dub. I just feel like Anya's jokes in dub lands a bit better. Jokes aren't as funny when you know, you have to read it. In terms of how the character acts, she isn't over the top as a show like maybe like Love is War cuz I can still laugh my ass off at Love is War because the performances are so loud and obnoxious that the physical comedy just makes me laugh. But this show isn't like that. So the jokes just land better when I actually hear the punchline rather than reading it. Not that there's anything wrong with the Japanese version, it just can't work to full effect on me. That's all. So yeah, Anya Dub also gets the dub. Anya Dub also gets the dub. Dub dub dub. How many times have I said dub this video? But wow, who would have thought it would have been a complete shutout? Like I said earlier, I was surprised how much more I liked the dub for Yor, considering she was going up against my goat. But you done good Natalie, you done good. I also expected the Japanese version of Lloyd to win too, but that didn't end up happening either, so I guess this dub and video were just full of surprises, huh?